Hey, what's up, SM2? Um, for 10.7, um, I know we're kind of jumping around everywhere from sections, um, but 10.7, will f this will finish off uh, our unit, and after this we will cover our next unit, our last unit for the year, actually. So we're almost to the end of the year. Um, but in 10.7, we're going to be talking about circles on a coordinate plane. Okay, so an, a coordinate plane means on an x and y plane. Now, on an x and y plane, we often have equations. Okay, now an equation looks like something with two variables. If it's on an x, y plane, it will have y is equal to, you know, mx plus b. So this is an equation that represents a linear line. Okay, now what an equation does it tells us that hey there are two variables x and y if I input one variable that's on the x-axis so if I take a variable in this dimension what do I get out in the output what does it become and that's what we get in the y dimension and so if you input infinitely many inputs then you get a lot of dots, an infinite amount of dots, and the, this infinite amount of dots can make a line. Now, depending on the type of equation, you can get like something like y is equal to x squared, which is a quadratic. In this case, the infinite number of dots will make a u-shaped. Okay. Now, today we're going to be talking about what equation, how we can make an equation give us a circle. Okay. So right here. I have a circle on an on a coordinate plane, but can I write an equation for this circle that would give me the infinite so any point on this line right here? Can I make an equation that can give me any point on a circle? Okay? So there is, and so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So let's think about what we have right here. So we have this circle, okay, and the circle has a center. And you can see that this circle has a, uh, there's a dot on the circle, there's a point on the circle. I'm going to call the center of this dot, which is on a, on a coordinate plane, so I'm going to call this the point HK. So all that really means is, is that this point HK is H distance over from the, the Y axis, this is H and it is k units up okay from the x axis remember it so this is a uh, an xy coordinate okay but specifically we're going to call it hk so this is the center so hk is the center uh and um i'm going to actually write this I'm going to take this writing and move it up here for the standard equation of a circle. So HK is the center. And okay, HK. And this dot right here, we're going to call this the point XY. It is some X coordinate and Y coordinate on the um, plane here. Okay? It can be any arbitrary x and y values. Okay, now this right here would also from from the center to the the point on the circle xy this would be considered the radius. Okay. Now, if we think about this Um, we can make a right triangle right here. Now, the distance from here to here would be, so we, we know that the distance from here to here is H. And the distance from here to the center, um, well this is H, sorry, and the distance to there is actually x, not uh, h, right? Because you can see that this is the x value. So the x value here 
is the distance of x. And the distance from here to here is whatever the x value is of this point, which is h. Okay, so in order to find the distance from here to here, which is the length of this right here, you have to do x minus h. Okay, x minus h is how you get this right here. So this is the distance from here to here. We're just going to call this distance x minus h. Okay, and now for the distance from here to here, we're going to do the same thing except we're using the y um, values. So we know that the distance from here to the right here is y units up because that's the y value there. Okay, so this is y and then the distance from here to here is eight or is k because that's the y value there which means the distance from here to here is going to be y minus k so this is y minus k all right now we have this right triangle now again we want to make an equation with an x and y with x and y variable x and y variables where we can plug in any x and y point or x and y point and we can uh, or we, any x point and we can get a y point out of it and that's how we get the rest of the circle okay so in order to do that we can actually just use the Pythagorean theorem because um, we can make a right triangle so for example I could take this leg of the, the radius here and I can make another right triangle from there to there from there to there no matter where on this I could pretty much just make like a right triangle anywhere okay so let's use the equation of the Pythagorean theorem so let's uh so we know the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared um where a and b are the legs of the triangle and c is the radius so let's replace a and b with the legs so let's say a is x minus h so x minus h is a and then y minus k we'll say is b and C will say is R and there you go this right here has given us an equation for the circle okay this is the equation for a circle the standard form So standard equation to a circle. Standard form for the equation of a circle. And pretty much what it means is that um, HK, like we said up here, HK is the center. HK is the center. So whatever the value of H is, it is um, H. Uh, so whatever value of H is, that's how far to the right or to the left the center of the circle is. So H is how far. left or right um, from the center or from the origin so how so H is how far left or right from the origin let's do that So H is how far left or right from the origin the center is. K 
okay is how far up or down from the or uh, the center is from the origin. Okay, so for example, if h, so if we have x plus 2 squared um, plus y minus 2 squared equal to 2 squared, So in this case, h is 2, but you have to read it opposite from what the sign is, okay? Because it's negative here. So if it's negative, then we have to read it opposite. So if it's plus 2, then um, h is equal to negative 2. And if it's negative 2, like the, where the y is, then k is equal to positive 2, and r is equal to 2. Also, r is the radius. Okay, so that means if you're on a coordinate plane, that means the center of the circle is negative 2 units to the left, because that's what h is, and then two units up, because that's what k is, and the center, the radius, is going to be two. Okay, so let's put this into practice right here, in this first example. So write the standard equation of the circle. So let's see um, of the circle shown. Okay, so for a, we want to use this circle right here. So we can see um, I think it's pretty obvious to see that the center of the circle is just at the origin, okay? Because you can see from here it's three, 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 and three units, okay? So that means if it's at the center, then h and k have to be equal to zero. So h and k have to be equal to zero, and r has to be equal to three because that's the distance from the points here to the center, so r has to be equal to 3. So remember that the standard form of the equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. Okay, so if h and k are 0, that means it's just going to be x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equal to 3 squared but x minus 0 is just x, so it's going to be x squared plus y squared equal to 9. So that's what this equation right here, this is the equation for this circle right here. Okay, now write the standard equation for a circle with a center at 0, negative 9, and a radius of 4.2. So remember that the circle has a cent has a center at h comma k. So right here it's saying that h is 0 and k is negative 9. So let's put this into our equ equation. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. So x minus h h is 0, y minus 9, and 9 is ne er, k, and k is equal to negative 9, 4.2 squared. Let's simplify though, so x minus 0 is just x. Now it's minus a negative number, so it's actually going to be plus, so plus y plus 9 squared equal to I'm just going to leave this as 4.2 squared. 
if you want to go ahead and punch that into a calculator you can but this right here should suffice and this right here is the standard equation for a circle that has a center at 0, negative 9 and a radius of 4.2 okay um, so the rest of this is just practice so let's practice a little bit so for exercise 1 through 4, write the standard equation of the circle. So this one's centered at 0. Now I'm actually going to let you guys do this one because this one's pretty much exactly what we did here. The radius is probably just going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to let you guys do that one. But I'll do number 2. Okay, so let's see if we can find the center of the circle. Okay, so I'm going to draw a diameter. There's a diameter there, and there's a diameter there. So their intersection is going to be... Um, the center. Now the point of the center is 2, 2. So that is the center of this circle. Now what is the radius? 1, so uh, 1, 2, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Radius is 4. So I have the center at 2, comma 2. I have the radius um, at a length of 4. And so if I use my standard equation of a circle, okay, then I have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared equal to 4 squared, which is 16. Okay. There you go. Alright, let's see. 3 and 4. I will do 3, and I'll let you guys do... Well, I'll do a coordinate. I'll let you guys do 3. That one's... Um, Hmm, trying to see what would be best for you guys to get some practice. Let me do one part of the center here. So the circle, a, a circle with a center at negative 3, negative 5, and radius at 8. So again, I know I want to put this into a standard equation. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. Okay, so in this case, this is r, this is h, and this is k. So I'm going to take k. So plus y minus negative 5 squared, which is saying plus y plus 5 squared. And I'll let you guys fill out the rest. Okay? Just remember that in this one, they're both 0. X, or h and k are both 0. So it shouldn't be that hard. Just remember that whenever you square this, you're using the right properties of exponents. What is 1 over 3 squared? Okay. Now let's talk about um, graphing. So in exercises, in these exercises, it says find the center uh, and radius of the circle and graph. Okay. So we get x squared plus y squared equal to 225. So notice that there's no x minus h. So this must mean, or there's no y minus k squared, so this must mean that h and k are 0, and that means that the center is at 0, 0. So center here has to be at 0, 0. Okay, now here's the thing, this is not r, Okay, so r squared is equal to 225. That's what it's saying. So in order to find r, I need to take the square root of 225. So let's do square root of 225. And I get 15. r is equal to 15, which is my radius. So let's make this my center right here. So this is at the point 0, 0. So that means this is my x... And this is my y. 
Okay. So there's the center of my circle. And it has a radius of 15. So, um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's say each is 3. Okay. So that's 3, 9, or sorry, 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, so five, every 5 blocks is going to be 15. So, okay. So the edges of my circles are going to be that far away from the center. And this might not be the best circle, but let's give it a go. See if my tool will actually work here. It actually worked just perfectly. Hopefully you guys have that nifty tool. Okay. Now on this one right here, you get... um x minus 3 squared plus y plus 2 squared equal to 16, okay? Now remember that we're going to read these opposite, okay? So if it's negative 3, h is going to be positive 3. h is always the value that is refer that is in parentheses with the x, and k is always the value that's in the parentheses with the y just so you guys if that's easier to remember so my center which is supposed to be h comma k is going to be h so in this case h is going to be the opposite of negative three so positive three and y is going to be negative or k is going to be negative two okay and the radius, here's what we know about the radius, is we know that r squared is equal to 16. It's whatever value is right here. So take the square root, so r is equal to 4, so my radius is 4. Okay. So my center is going to be at 3, negative 2. Let's see, let's draw this probably something more like this. Hopefully that will make it fit. So it's going to be at 3, negative 2, right there. That's my circle with a radius of 4. So right there, right there. It's actually turning out quite good. And right there. Okay, and there's my circle. Alright, so again, it shouldn't be too hard of a concept to realize. Just remember how you know what h and k are is in your equation. So h and k is the center, right? h is your x value, k is your y value of the center, and r is always the radius of the circle. So the distance from the circle, from the center of the circle, to a point on the circle. Okay? And that should pretty much do it for 10.7. So finish the rest of these problems and then try the homework out.